You could call it a Dante and Goliath story. Protesters Dante Dawes and Olivia Goldsmith approach the much larger freighter in a two-person kayak on Otago Harbour. The pair are with a handful of protesters from environmental justice Oti Poti, who made their presence heard as the Federal Crimson approached Ravensbourne Wharf. Because I can't sit back and do nothing while a New Zealand company, Ravensbourne, is helping to fund human rights atrocities in Western Sahara. Protesters say New Zealand's Ravensdown Fertiliser Company is using phosphate sourced from a territory which has been occupied by Morocco since the mid-1970s. Ravensdown says it undertook due diligence with the phosphate supplier and believes the supplier is operating within United Nations guidelines. Environmental Justice Oti Poti wouldn't confirm if any more protests are planned. Um, currently we can't disclose any further actions. Mm -hmm. There will be more though. <laughs> Potentially. The Federal Crimson is due to move from Ravensbourne Wharf to Beach Street on the 14th before departing Dunedin on December the 17th. In Dunedin, the South Today.